Danny Darwin out to visit with Malley along with his battery mate Tucker Barnhart. What is the purpose of a typical mound visit? The situation is usually not good, you know, and, and you want to try to calm them down and get them out of it. So by heading to the mound, the pitching coach or catcher is basically calling a timeout. It's really just trying to relax you and get a little bit of a breath and try not to let the game speed up on you a little bit. And, you know, I think uh, Danny does a good job of that. It's more of just giving you a breather. Unless you're really, like, you know, dragging out there, or you're showing some, some signs of uh, just not being yourself where they need to get into you a little bit. Other than that, it's pretty casual, like, hey, you know, we'll slow it down right here, go get them, and um, that's about it. Another possible reason for a mound visit is the opponent. A lot of times they're discussing the next hitter. Um, so if there's, like, a pinch hitter coming up and there's a guy on base, they'll discuss what, they, what the scouting report is on that hitter. And if there's any sort of adjustment or anything you need to make, like, hey, calm down, calm down stay back, or whatever it is, they'll discuss that, too. Gold Glove winning catcher Tucker Barnhart says his approach is determined by the guy on the mound. Depends on who it is. Sometimes you ask the guy where they're going to dinner after the game just to kind of try to break up everything that's going on. Uh, sometimes you, you you light into somebody and kind of get them going a little bit. Other times you got to tell somebody how good they are. So it, it kind of depends depends on the character that's on the mound, depends on the situation. Um, so there's not one specific thing, but uh, it's been a little bit of everything. At any level that I've played at, we've had some, some interesting conversations on the mound, we've had some laughs on the mound, and then I've had to get into some people too. I'm interested in the laughs and went looking for an example. One of the best ones I can remember was in Louisville one year, and, and we were way ahead in the game, and the pitcher was out there, and he was just nibbling, you know, instead of just going right at the hitters with a seven or an eight-run lead. And my wife had come in town for that weekend, and, you know, I wanted the game to get over with so I could see my wife, and I went out, and I said, you see that lady up there in the white shirt right behind home plate? And he looks over my shoulder and says, yeah. I said, that's my wife. Could you please throw strikes? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yes. Yes, he did, and they probably hit it hard, but they hit out. So sometimes it is. It's just to get the guy's heart beat to go down a little bit and realize you're not a brain surgeon out here. You're a pitcher. Just throw the ball over the plate and see what happens. While Ted Power was willing to share details of a humorous trip to the mound, others prefer to keep those conversations private. Any funny stories, major league or minor league, about a mound visit? Ooh. Not that I can think of off the top of my head or stuff that I can say on camera, um, but there is some funny moments that I've had with some pitching coaches, so uh, I'll keep those to myself. No, no, no. It's, it's between us. We, I, can't, I can't really spill the beans on what we talk about.